prior to looking at Windows 8.1, let's look at Windows 8.0 mail functions and see how limited they are. If you notice when we open it up here, there's nothing on the left, it's just a list of uh, folders and that's about it. Uh, you can browse and do things like that and you can see basically what's going on with owner folders. You can create folders over here. You can simply right click on the screen and say I want to go to manage folders and create them new folder options and things like that. You can't rename it. There's a can't do uh, anything except uh, create one and delete one and empty it. And if you want to move one, you have to click on it, right click and say move, and then select your folder. And that's how you move. You can't drag and drop it. If you want to do it again, uh, you made a mistake, you have to sit there and right click on it, have the move dialog box come up at the bottom, uh, click on that and say uh, move and put it in the other folder and everything, put it back. So that's what I did. I put it back in the inbox. So very limited functionality as far as uh, the availability to use folders and the managing your mail. It's very time intensive and a lot of a lot of clicks moving around. So besides all these functions down there, we're going to talk about all those uh, just about and uh, how well they're organized in a new version. So here's Windows 8.1. So if we click on the mail application in Windows 8.1, you'll see that it comes up and immediately you'll see on the left that now it doesn't have a list of folders, it just has a list of functions that are there right there. You don't have to right click for them, you don't have to do anything. And uh, we're going to go through them all. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the inbox, or actually the folder function, how to create uh, folders and everything. If we click on that, you'll see that it flies out to the right, and there's all your standard folders all hidden away, and along with uh, some couple that I've created purchases and underneath that Amazon. So that means I can create one for eBay or for wherever I want that I've made uh, purchases through. So let's do another one. Let's go ahead and say manage folders and uh, I'm going to create a folder called uh, family. Let's, let's do that. Everybody has family stuff they want to file away. So I'll just, I'll just call, uh, call it family and say OK. And it says it's been created and I click on OK and I come up here there and there you go. There's the family folder listed underneath the folders. Now we've created that folder. Now I'm going to create a subfolder. You notice it says subfolder under family. I want to type in brother here. You would, of course, use the name of the relative that you were talking about when you want to file your emails uh, for them separately. And it says it's been created under family. We say OK. And now we have that folder there. Now remember, the easy way to know that you're in the right place is create folder under family. If you create in the wrong spot, you can't move folders later on. All you can do is create another folder and then move the emails later. But we'll show you how to do that in a minute. But here we are with family and brother there. They're both there and uh, we have those new folders created. Now another nice new feature about the uh, whole folders thing is that we have what's called favorites. And you'll see here that uh, underneath the folders we have those listed there. And you have little stars next to them. So you can mark these as favorites. So the most often ones used will appear over here on the left. So if I want to add on family, then the ones filed directly in the family. If I want to have brother and all that, I have to have them separately. They're not subfolders in that that uh, shortcuts. Remember, these are just shortcuts to folders, just like you would have in the desktop. Now, here we have, I'm going to pull off something off the deleted folder. You notice that we have your three sections here. You have your sections for your folders, the list of emails, and then, of course, the area over here. That's your information about that particular email. But uh, let's go ahead and, and try to move some folders. Before, and earlier, we showed you how you had to right-click on something and say move. Well, now you just simply click and hold it. And you can drag it over to wherever you want to. You can drag it to a couple different places. You can drag it to your folders here and drag it to any one of your subfolders here. You could, uh, the, oops, the, to the purchases, okay. Uh, we can create a new subfolder under purchases called New Egg here. Uh, so I can show you how that works. I'm going to say OK. It says it's been created. So I'm going to click on OK again. I'm going to go back over here and uh, I'm going to make that a favorite so it appears there. Now, if I go back to where where the folder where the email was, I left it in the inbox. So we're going to take it now with that inbox to that newly created folder. We simply drag it. We can drag it to our favorites over here. You can also go to the folder icon and then drag it directly into any one of your folders here and drop it in, and it'll move it the email there. A simple functionality that's been in other programs for quite a while. Uh, mail was lacking it, and now it's very easy to manage it because now if we click on New Egg, you see the email has been moved there. So uh, there's a couple other functionalities here with folders is that we have uh, other things besides folders that are going on. 
there are the functionalities on the left, and they, they directly relate to your uh, other information here, your other emails. For example, we have notification. Well, let's go up to favorites first. Now, these aren't really about emails. This is more about contacts. As you use the email, contacts will appear in your favorites as they get more and more used. Or you can add them from your Windows desktop or actually your Windows contact information. Uh, there and they'll end up here in your email so you can quickly click on them to send emails. It's a nice little extra added uh, functionality that available to on that left-handed menu. Now just just below that besides uh, some of the other things we can also look at the uh, the other functions that are available right here. You can have markers on red, you can delete, but what we want to talk about next is uh, is the flag functionality and flag simply is makes it important for you. You don't want to lose track of that. So if you click on the flag icon you'll see that the one appeared on the left over here showing that it's flagged. Now you can flag uh, those you're familiar with other email systems you can flag them no matter where they reside in here and they'll show up here in a list that you can have them to can easily find them so that later on when you get them done you simply click on them to release them and they're no longer in your flagged it sort of consolidates a view for working every day to day. Now the next section we want to talk about is newsletters and social updates. Now newsletters are like this one here from Newegg. As you get signed up for newsletters, well, Mail will recognize that there's a reoccurring publication and try to put it in here automatically, file it for you so you don't get clutter up your inbox with those. Uh, and we'll show you how that happens and how you can modify that here in a minute. The next thing you want to do is uh, take a look at maybe your social updates, which are basically the same functionality, just that you get all your Facebook and Twitter and all those kind of social feeds c come in here, uh, which allows you to have file them away easily. And again, to create this uh, rule that it's doing is just simply drag it over there. It'll say, do you want to do this for all messages? And it'll figure out that any messages from that email address must be, you want to go from now on, go to that folder. So as you drag it there, it creates this rule. This is, rules have been around for years, but this is a very simple way of learning from your actions of what you want it to happen. Same thing with social updates. If you had an email that you wanted to move over to social updates instead. Uh, this one here is coming from info at newegg.com, but let's say you had one coming from Facebook or Twitter. You could do the same functionality as far as dragging it. In fact, if you want to, uh, if you drag it and you drag it to the wrong place, you can drag it again. So let's say this was supposed to be a social one, and I drag it over here to social. Uh, it says the same thing. I want this to always go to the social. So, again, your Twitter or your uh, any kind of notification from Facebook, you'd say that. I just said no because I don't want that rule to be created. It moved it, but it just didn't make a rule out of it. So I'm going to put it back over here, and it's going to create the rule again. Back to put it back into the social into the newsletters uh, area. So that's how you create rules and move things around to keep your inbox very clean. So there's a lot of nice new features Microsoft has added to the left hand side to make them easily accessible without having to right click. You can take a look at your inbox of course and all your folders and everything. Your social updates and all that all designed to make it a little easier. And of course the dragging and dropping which has completely improved uh, the usability and management of your emails uh, so you don't have to do so many clicks. You can just drop into any one of these folders that you want. Uh, besides all those things, there's uh, other standard features that still are in here. So if you're in, in an email message, for example, and you want to do uh, certain things like the normal repl reply and all that stuff, you simply use the, the area on the right-hand side over here and say uh, reply, respond, that is, and you can choose uh, reply, reply to all forward. You can create a new email over here, click on that, and put the information in, and it'll have that. It'll autofill people's names there at times, so I'll delete that. But again, a great update to the operating system, well, actually, to mail for Windows uh, 8.1. So, hope you enjoy it.